right, starting lineups brought to you tonight by Zaner and Sons Excavating. A 6 3. Well, let me get it up on the screen for you. A 6 3 senior, number four, Gabe Rotier. A 6 foot senior, number 12, Jacob Dyke. A 5'11", senior number 21, Luke uh, Terpstra. A 6'3", senior number 22, Jace Boltma. And a 6'4", sophomore number 24, Tony Bose. And the starting lineup for the Cavaliers at guard. A 5'10", junior number 3, David Height. At guard, a six-foot senior, number 12, Jack Rogers. At forward, a 6'1", junior, number 15, Logan Claudel. At guard, a 5'10", sophomore, number 20, Jonas McEwen. And at uh, forward, a 6'2", senior, number 23, Adria Wasp. So, there is the starting lineup for the Cavaliers and for... The Knights, Cavaliers coached by Kyle Evans. Knights coached by Ethan McCammock. Evans, 32 and 52 in his fourth year here at Culver Community, 44 and 148 in his 10th year overall. Uh, McCammock is uh, 23 and 16 in his second year. It'll be, uh, like we said, it's gonna be an interesting ball game here uh, for both sides, so we're, we're looking forward to it. I'm interested to see what uh, Luke Terpster does, the 5'11 senior, and obviously interested to see things from Jack Rogers. So as the game gets underway and the Knights control uh, things right out of the gate here, it's Terpstra with the ball. He gets it uh, to Boss. Boss all the way over across to uh, Rotier. Terpstra with it. Picks it up. Rotier with the ball. Finally battles for it and gets it over, but they're going to call a travel on him as Jonas McEwen had a hand on it. So 30 seconds down. Cavaliers get a stop. Jack Rogers gets the inbound from Logan Claudel. The Knights do like pressing here. Ball inside to Claudel. He loses control of it. They get down after the floor, and it's eventually going to be picked up by Rotier. Rotier to Bose. Bose gets the press from the Cavaliers. Finally ends up in the hands of Terpstra. Terpstra drives in, tries to get it inside, can't do anything with it, loses control of it. Ball's on the ground, picked up, uh, thrown back inbounds by Rogers. Terpstra with it, tries to drive the lane up and under. Ball's tipped away by Guas, but eventually ends up in the hands of Boltima. Boltima loses control of it. Guas with the ball, pushing it up the court for the Cavaliers. Goes up for two and off the front of the rim. Rebounded. Oh, they're going to get a foul on David Height here. I thought that was a good... I thought that was a good... Uh, a good hustle play. So did the Cavalier student section. The first... Uh, the first emotion we've seen out of them all year long. They let the official and the player hear it. They didn't like that one. So ball's inbounded. Terpster with it. Cavaliers continue the press. They get it into Dyke. Dyke back to him. Looks to do something with it. Gets it across the timeline. Looking for a teammate. Gets it to Rotier. Rotier with it. Loses control of it. Ball's going to be stolen away again. It's a loose ball. Finally picked up by Rotier. They get it under to uh, Boltman. He's going to get fouled by, I think, Guasp. So that foul will indeed be on Guasp. That's going to send uh, Jace Boltman to the free throw line. He's a 54% shooter from the stripe. First one's no good. Second one's up, and no good, but it's going to be re rebounded by Rotier. Rotier's going to try to go up with it, and that should have been a jump ball. That's going to be a foul on Logan Claudel. That's a good hustle play by Logan there. I thought, I thought he was on top of that one for a while, but that's going to send, I believe it's Rotier to the free throw line. 
So six foot three senior, Gabe Rotier misses the first one. That one's no good. Rebounded by Jonas McEwen. Claudel with the ball. Gets it over to Gloss. Gloss looks to shoot. Does. Fires. Long. Finally rebounded by Terpstra. Terpstra pushes the ball up the court. Gets it inside to Bose. Uh, correction, that's uh, Boltzma. So Jace Boltzma with the ball. That ball's going to roll out of bounds. It'll be Cavalier ball. Rogers, Claudel, McEwen. Cavaliers look to set things up here. They get it back to Rogers. Rogers gets a ball screen from Claudel, kicks it out to McEwen. McEwen back to him as the Cavaliers look to move things around. Three ball by Rogers is no good. It's going to be rebounded by Bose. Bose gets it up the floor to Terpstra. Terpstra down to Rotier. Rotier tries to do something with it. Finally gets it inside. They're going to kick it out eventually around the horn. It goes, and it's going to end up back in the hands of Rotier to Terpstra. Terpstra drives in the lane, tries to get something, goes back to Rotier, back inside. They're going to get a shot. Five-footer from the free throw lane. That's going to be no good. Eventually rebounded by David Height. He's going to turn around and pull it out, get it to Gloss. Gloss for three. No good. Rebounded by Claudel. Claudel's going to put it back up for two. And here come the Knights the other way. Dyke with the ball. Gets it to Boltma. Ball's going to roll around out of bounds on the pass by Rotier. It's going to be out on Logan Claudel. So, Knights look to inbound here. That ball's tipped by David Height. He's going to pick it up, and he's going to get blocked, but he's going to get his own rebound and put it back in. Dyke, Terpstra, back to Dyke. Tries to get it across the timeline. Terpstra, down to Boltma. Boltma tries to get the pass to Dyke, but loses it out of bounds. And in the game comes Davis Peterson, 5'10", senior, averaging 7.4 points a game. For the Cavaliers, it looks like Caleb McEwen in the game. Caleb's the 6'1", sophomore, 6'0", sophomore. Height with the ball in the corner. Looks to do something with it. Gets it to McEwen. McEwen back to his brother. Back to Caleb. Caleb for three. It's up. No good. In and out. Rebounded. Eventually he's going to be grabbed by Terpstra. But that ball's going to be tipped by David Height. Ends up in the hands of Jack Rogers. Rogers and Height look to do something with it. Rogers inside, up and under, but it's going to be blocked by Boss. Eventually winds up in the hands of Dyke. They push it up the floor. Terpstra with it. And that's going to go in. Ball is going to be knocked out of bounds there by Rotier. Four to four, your score. 336 left to go here in the first quarter. Ball's inbounded to height. He looks to find Rodgers. He does. Cavaliers set things up. Rodgers drives in, and the left hand layup falls no good, but it's going to be grabbed. Offensive rebound, David Height gets it to McEwen. McEwen's going to lose it. Finally grabs it, gets it to Rogers. All the way over to Caleb McEwen. He's going to shout fake, drive in, dump it off inside to Binion. Binion's going to get fouled and head to the free throw line. That foul, I believe, is going to be on Davis Peterson. Correction, that's going to be on Gabe Rotier. So that's Rotier's first. Binion's first one will fall. Wow. 
Second shot's up, no good. Rebound again, falls in the hands of Dyke. Dyke pushes the ball up the court quickly. Loses control of it, but regains it. Ten-foot jumper, no good. It's going to be rebounded by Height. He's got a man wide open in Binion, but Binion's going to get absolutely murdered, but he's going to pop up and be fine, and Dyke's apologizing to him there. I think that was not meant to be as uh, as rough as it was. Both guys going for a, for a loose pass in the air. So that, that's uh, great sportsmanship there by Jacob Dyke to see, to see that. Helped him up, made sure he was okay. McEwen with it, looks to drive in. Gets it to his brother. His brother drives, kicks it back to him. Height for a deep three, no good. It's going to be rebounded by Jonas McEwen. He's going to skip it all the way over to his brother. He drives in, kicks it back out to Height. Height has a standalone three, no good. It's going to fall back in his hands after the tip by McEwen. He's going to get it out to Rogers. Rogers with a deep three, no good. Cavaliers with another offensive rebound. It's going to eventually fall in the hands of uh, Jonas McEwen. Three or four Cavaliers on the floor, including Ethan Binion. Cavaliers will maintain possession on it, or of it, sorry, after falling on it. And it appears that uh, Boltma is going to come back in, and the uh, possession will remain with the Cavaliers. Assistant coach for the Knights <laughs> just told Boltman, get a rebound. And that's a great shot there. Great pass, great shot by Kayla McEwen. So Terpstra, Bose, Dyke. Dyke into Davis Peterson. Peterson up with a left-handed layup, and it's good. Ball inbounded to Rodgers. McEwen back to him as they try to break the press. Floater to McEwen. He's got it. Dribbles through two defenders but loses it. Winds up in the hands of Jacob Dyke. Dyke looks to attack. Gets the ball knocked out of his hands. Oh! Gets the ball knocked out of his hands by David Height. But David had his heels on the baseline. So that ball will go to the Knights. Coach Evans wanting a call. Don't know exactly what he what he was wanting. I didn't see it. Contrary to popular belief, this game is not being broadcast on Max 98.3. Tony left his... Uh, his pop-up sign there on the baseline. And Jacob Dyke uh, ran into it and gave it a little, gave it a little push. He didn't like it being there. So Dyke's shot was good. Here comes the free throw. No good. It's going to be rebounded by Rogers. Cavaliers look to push the ball up with Rogers. He gets it inside of Binion. Binion steps in. Lots of contact. No call. Finger roll. No good. Gets beat around. Finally, he's going to wind up in the hands of David Peterson. Peterson into Terpstra. Terpstra with a right hand layup. No good. Rebounded by Gloss. But then they're going to get Peterson for the foul. So Cavaliers still looking to break the press here. Ball gets in the hands eventually of Gwas. Gwas to McEwen. McEwen over to Rogers. Rogers attacks the baseline. Looks to find somebody. Can't. Kicks it out to Caleb. Caleb loses it. Finally regains possession. Gets it to his brother. Back to Gwas on the wing. Gwas looks to attack. Dishes it off to Binion. Binion back inside. And they're going to get a push on uh, Boss. They're going to get Boss on the push. So that foul is going to be on Tony Boss. That's the team's fourth foul. Pass inbounded to Gwasp. 
Seven to eight, your score. 45 seconds left to go here in the first. Kick out shot to Rogers. Looks short it is. And eventually he's going to wind up in the hands of Jacob Dyke. He's going to get it to Terpstra. Terpstra down to Davis Peterson. And that one's going to fall in for Peterson. So Cavaliers getting beaten transition here. That ball's in the hands of Caleb McEwen. And that's going to be Dyke's second. There was the foul that I was missing, so that's the team's fifth. Cavaliers in the bonus here. McEwen's first shot is good. In the game for Culver is going to be, let's see, who came in here? Um, David Height. I believe it is Height. Caleb's second one falls in and out, rebounded by Peterson. They look to push the ball up quick. They're doing fairly well in transition. And that's going to be Boss. Boss gets it inside, and that shot's going to be blocked by Caleb McEwen. And with 17.9 seconds left on the clock, in comes Logan Claudel. So... Terpster shots blocked by McEwen. Ball's going to be inbounded by Boss. He's going to get it wide open to, that is, Boltma. Rogers with it. Eight seconds left to go. Gets the ball all the way down inside to Logan Claudel, and he's going to get shoved in the back for a foul. Claudel's first one is good. He's a 57% free throw shooter. Three point eight seconds left to go here. Nine twelve is your score. Demont Christian leads. That ball's no good. Rebounded by Davis Peterson. Peterson loses control of it. Deep three coming here. And that shot's going to be no good off the glass. So at the end of your first quarter, your score is Culver 9, DeMott Christian 12. We're going to take a break here, and we're going to be right back with the second quarter. You're watching Cavalier Basketball on Culver TV. So 9-12 to 12 as we are set to begin the second quarter of play here at John R. Nelson Gymnasium. Like we said in the pregame, this is going to be an interesting game. Both teams... Uh, both teams playing fast, playing hard, aggressive. Uh, lots of lots of fouling and lots of aggressiveness, right? Which aggressiveness leads to fouling. Um, some called, some not called, both ways. Uh, that's not the point. The point is both teams playing extremely fast and extremely aggressive. Lots of balls uh, falling out of bounds. It's going to be uh, DeMott's ball to start the second half here. And it looks like uh, for the uh, Tanyan Baker is going to be in the game for DeMott. As that ball is going to be stolen away and eventually gets in the hands of Height, Claudel, McEwen, Rogers. Now to Height. Height looks to drive. Can't. Gets it back over to Rogers. Rogers down inside to. Binion. Binion looks to make a post move. Loses control of it. Gets it to Rogers. Rogers drives the lane. Spin move. Tries to go up with it. Gets the ball knocked out of his hand. And let's see if they call that on the floor. I think he was trying to go. Oh, they're going to give him the shots. Good. So the foul's going to be on Bose. Boltma's first foul. It's going to send Rogers to the line. <laughs> Remember, Tyler, pregame you said that it's funny how some people can get so mad over basketball. I think we got one of those dads behind us here. Second one's good. It's Terpstra. Oh, that's going to be Boss with it. I believe that's his second turnover of the night.
So Rodgers with it, looks to attack. Takes it all the way, left-handed layup's good. So, we have Terpstra. That's going to be Bryce Nash in the game with the ball. He's going to lose control of it to the jump ball. So alternating possession will go to the Cavaliers. And it looks like with uh, some guys with multiple fouls that the Knights have kind of called off the press here. That's going to be a three and it's going to go no good, but eventually he's going to get his own rebound. Great hustle play by David Height. He's going to kick it out to Rodgers. Rodgers looks to do something with it here. He's going to get the ball screen, but eventually over to Claudell. Claudell looks inside, not there. Back to Rodgers. Rodgers, deep three. It's up. No good. It's going to be battered around and eventually knocked out of bounds. It should be, uh, yes, it should be DeMott's ball, and it is. Bose with the ball. Terpstra. Looks to do something with it. Back to Bose. Wide open inside is Baltima, but he, they're going to lose control of it, and it's eventually going to be grabbed by Rodgers. Rodgers heads up the court with it. Down inside to Claudel, who will kick it to McEwen. McEwen back to Rodgers over to Height. Height tries to get it inside to Binion. It's not there, so he brings it to the top as people clear out. Wide open on the wing is Rodgers. Wide open, he's there, and eventually Bose closes down, closes down the distance. Rogers is going to come in, step up. Nice floater, 4-2. Coach Evans will take a timeout. The score is 14-12 in favor of the Cavaliers. We'll be right back after these messages. Welcome back here. Justin Croy, Tyler Siddell with you. 5.44 left to go here in the first half. Your score, Culver 14, DeMont Christian 12. Cavaliers went on a bit of a run there to begin the second quarter. So it's going to be DeMont's ball on the baseline. Bose, Terpstra. Back to him. Brings it across the timeline. Gets the ball tipped. Eventually goes out of bounds. They're going to say kicked ball. It might have been kicked. I, I couldn't see there. Ball's going to be inbounded to Terpstra. Guarded by David Height. Height tries to make him go right. Doesn't. Eventually winds up left. Boltma tries to get it inside. Eventually he's going to be picked up by... Uh, that is Claudel gets it to Caleb McEwen. Caleb's going to bring the ball across the line and get a body call on Davis Peterson. So that's going to be on Davis Peterson. That's his first. Ball to Rogers. Looks to do something here. Kick to Claudel. Claudel for three. Up, no good. Finally rebounded by McEwen. Gets back in the hands of Rodgers eventually. Rodgers drives the baseline. Kicks out to Claudel again. He'll try for three. That one's good. So the first three of the night comes by the forward, Logan Claudel. Cavaliers continuing to press here. That ball. Oh. That's going to be foul on Ethan Binion. Got a good piece of Bryce Nash there. Helped him up. Hope he's okay. He seemed to spring back up. The ball is sweaty. They have to... They have to... Uh, Wipe it off here so we can continue to play. 
You know, we bought those new floor, those new floor uh, dryers things, floor wipers for when somebody falls. I don't know how many girls fell down last night during the sectional game, but nobody thought to grab those and use them. That ball's going to roll to the backcourt and be an over and back violation. And Coach uh, McCammock is going to take a timeout for DeMont Christian. 4.21 left to go here in the first half. Cavaliers lead 17 to 12. Rogers, height. Back to Jonas McEwen. Gloss, back to Rogers. Gets a ball screen. And the ball's going to eventually wind up in the hands of Claudell, who's going to think about shooting it. Doesn't. Finally gets it to Rogers. Rogers will drive baseline, pull it back out, and skip it to Gloss. Gloss, the 6 2 senior, foreign exchange from Spain. Gets it to McEwen. McEwen for a wide open three. Ball's going to be no good. Eventually falls in the hands of, uh, that's going to be Terpstra. Terpstra is going to get it to Bose. Bose is going to put it in for an easy layup. Down inside to Claudel. Claudel will get his own rebound back eventually in the hands of Baltma. Baltma to Bose. Bose heads up the court, gets it back to Baltma, and see a timeout coming here, and indeed... Indeed it is. So as the score swings with four unanswered points by the Knights, Coach Evans looks to kill the momentum, takes a 30-second timeout here, and <laughs> in, uh, in typical typical uh, Evans fashion, yells at somebody that, that he's not mad at to tell them he's mad at somebody else so the other person can hear it. <laughs> uh, So, 3.15 left to go here. 17-16 Cavalier lead. You know, the student section was really hooting and hollering, and then Mr. Barrett walked over there, and he's just standing. He's just standing, and so the Caval or the uh, student section is just, they're sitting down, they're back to, gotta, gotta put the muzzle on, Mr. Barrett's around. I didn't think they were being too bad. He must have, he must have heard something. Rodgers with the ball. It's good. Peterson to Terpstra. Terpstra to Baltma. Baltma, 4-2. So, DeMott finding those passing lanes. Nash with a rebound to Terpstra. Rodgers tries to pick it. Intercept it. Eventually winds up in the hands of David Height. McEwen with the ball. Looks to attack here. Swung over to Rogers. Rogers for three, and that one will go. Cavaliers look to put on the press here. They beat it. Get the ball across the court. Got guys wide open. And they're going to call a foul. Foul number three. Other Cavalier, David Light, has his second foul, team second. Right back to the line, shooting two. <laughs> Nash's first one's no good. So that's Gwasp's, no, that's Height's second. So they called that on David Height. I thought it was going to be on Gwasp. That shot's no good. Grabbed by Height. Has to give that one away to avoid. Oh, that, I hope he's okay. I hope he's okay as athletic trainer Joe Day goes over there. 
I think it was. I don't think it was the initial hit on the ground. I think he rolled when he when he hit the ground and rolled over. I think he hit his head when he rolled. Man, that looked that was nasty. You could hear that up here. So he's going to go to the line, and he's going to put it in. It's all that hair. All that hair provides a provides a nice cushion from that hard wood. And the second one's good. See, Tyler, if a guy with a buzz cut would have shot that, he would have had a concussion, you know. Rogers looks to drive, kicks it. McEwen, three, shot fake, drive. Gets it back to Rogers. Wide open is Kayla McEwen, eventually covered by Terpstra. He'll kick it down to the corner to Guas. Guas, McEwen, back to his brother. Down to the corner, around the horn to Rogers. He'll attack the baseline, puts it up and good. Going to be a Hail Mary. Eventually winds up in the hands of Boltima. Boltima, Davis Peterson. Peterson with it. Looks to get it inside. Finally finds Boltima there. Boltima is going to get, oh. Let's watch that again. Yeah, he had kind of had his hand there. They're going to call it on the floor, though. That's Guasps. They're gonna, oh, they're, that's going to be on, on Logan. As Logan gets on the ground after the ball with Caleb Nash. Oh, here we go, into action. We talked about it. We talked it into existence. Zoom in on that, Tyler. There it is, Martha the Mop Lady. Mike the Mop Lady is what is that's what I'm going to call him tomorrow. You're probably a Purdue fan. You you wouldn't understand that reference. Davis Peterson for a deep three, no good. Winds up into the hands of Rogers. Rogers goes up, draws a foul, can't finish the shot, but he's going to head to the charity stripe for two. 52.7 seconds left to go. Cavaliers have a four point lead here. That's going to be Peterson's second foul. And that's going to bring um, Tannen Baker back in the game as Rodgers will head to the line to shoot two free throws. First one's no good. Minion back in the game for the Cavaliers. Second one's good. Terps is right. Dryer, not Terps, I'm sorry. That was, uh, that's going to be Nash on the shot, but that was Boltma that drove the baseline. Ball inbounded to Rogers. Rogers looks to attack. Pulls up, deep three, no good. Eventually rebounded, loose ball. Guys on the ground, picked up by Baker. Baker's going to dribble it, finally get it to uh, Baltimore, who's going to get it to Terpstra, who's eventually going to get it back to Baker. So, six seconds. Bose, three, looks good, is. Oh. So, Rodgers to inbound the ball as the Cavaliers control things to start the second half. Skips it over to Caleb McEwen. No height in the game to start the second half. The ball to McEwen. Gets it out to uh, Claudel. Claudel back to um, Rodgers. Rodgers looks to make a move. Goes up and in. Floater. No good. Eventually batted around, but it's going to be rebounded by Logan Claudel. Deep three coming from Jack Rodgers. No good. Rebounded by Kayla McEwen. Takes a shot to the head, but battles through. 
and he's going to check on him. So the officials stop, stop and uh, stop and check on him. And we're going to welcome in Mike the Mop Lady. That's what we said we were going to call you. We, zo we zoomed in and everything. We, Probably looked good, didn't it? Yeah. The viewers appreciate that. That's, that's the athletic director getting work done right there. So, I don't know why we're still stopped. What we're checking? Uh, his oh, we're shoes trying. off. Didn't you see him holding no, it down there? No, I didn't. There? Yeah. I didn't. <laughs> he was holding it on that possession. We so got this number uh, twenty-two. This bar and Ultima. Like, I can't see anything that happens on this side of the volleyball line, from the far baseline to about the serve line on the opposite side. So that's going to be uh, Terpster with a ball. Eventually, he's going to kick it to Rotier. Rotier back to Terpstra. Rotier for three. Ball's up. No good. It's going to be rebounded by Bose. Bose is going to grab it. Back to Terpstra. Terpstra looks to do something. Back to Bose. Bose shot fake over to Dyke. Dyke with a three. Looks good. Isn't. It's going to be rebounded by him. Dyke grabs the rebound. Kicks it. Intercepted by Kayla McEwen. But eventually, nobody grabs it. It goes to Rotier. Rotier gets it to Dyke. Dyke looks to do something with it. Gets it inside to Baltima. Back out to Rotier. Rotier in the corner. Terpstra for three. And no good, but it's going to be rebounded by Rotier, and Rotier's going to put it up. So after a half of not doing a very good job on the offensive boards, the Knights grab Tied a few offensive up. rebounds and get things tied back up. Rodgers with the ball, gets it to McEwen, back to him. Looks to attack here, drives in, throws one up, gets fouled. I don't know. 24? I don't know if you were here early early in the game. But Tony's banner might be bent in the middle because one of the kids uh, slid into it. He had a game tonight. And then so. and then gave it a little punch with his hand. So I think it might be a little bit wonky. Ah, they get that max money. They're fine. Pop it. Good. Good look. Inbound to Rogers with nice the left-handed layup. They got so many options off that inbound. It's, it's fun to watch in practice. They just pick and pick, and it eventually one pops. Terpstra. Ooh, over round. Throw. Turnover. It's like number one, Peterson's going to check back in. What's the official's name with the ball on the baseline? Uh, Mark. Marks his last name. No, Lowell Hatfield and Carl Abram, but we I didn't know. Nick Mark, I believe Nick his Mark. name. Nick Mark, okay. Got to check in. Davis Peterson. Peterson, a 5'10 senior. 7.4 points a game. One, David Peterson, check up tonight. Got a little face guarding on uh, Jack here. It looks like. McEwen with the ball to Guas. Guas looks to attack. Kicks it to the corner. Claudel for three. Looks good. good. Bounces around. Eventually winds up in the hands of Jacob Dyke. Dyke looks to push it up. Got a couple of open guys. Loses control of it. Baltimore with it. Crow hops. Gets it down inside to Terpstra. Terpstra for two. It's good. Notches the game back up at 29 apiece. Cavaliers look to push the ball up the court right away. Going a little bit faster here. Eventually, left-handed layup by Rodgers is no good. Intercepted by McEwen. Back to Rodgers for two. Second chance is good. Oh, might have just threw it away again. And that one, ooh, almost tipped away by McEwen again. Terpster with it. Tries to draw the foul. Does Sends it to the away. student section. Pass intended for Troy McEwen is no good. We had such an active student section, and then that guy in the white shirt walked over there early in the game, and they <laughs> haven't said a PG, word. He's just keeping PG, baby. He's just keeping PG. <laughs> so he gets paid the big bucks, right? Ball over to Claudel. Eventually back in the corner to McEwen. He tries to get it out of there, drives the baseline, dishes it off, intercepted by Rotier. Rotier to Terpstra. Terpstra brings the ball across the timeline. Pulls up from 15 feet. Shot's no good. Gets his own rebound. Comes back in. Gets fouled by Binion. Binion's second? Yep, second foul of the night. David's coming in. I think he's got three on the night, correct? Jack's going to have a seat. 
Give him a quick breather. I'm sure he'll be right back. Yeah, that's going to uh, be, be his third. His you know. third foul there on Terpstra, or on Binion against Terpstra. Foul number 32 on the Cavaliers, Cavs second of the foul. quarter. We talked about in pregame, both these teams pretty evenly matched up statistically. Yeah, looking at the records and everything. Common opponents, it seemed like it. I glanced at it today. And really, it has been fast-paced game, man. Jeez. Well, especially after watching two days of girls basketball. <laughs> a little different pace. Just a little bit different Adria pace. Adria Goss for three. Watch the uh, eighth grade girls game. Uh, <laughs> I think you get there just if you get there a split second sooner. I think you got it. Called it quick too. Yeah. Three yeah. fouls here early going in the third. Cavs up five here. It's only his yeah, yeah. I was gonna say it's only a second. You're talking team fouls. Yeah, team fouls. We're halfway front, through. Front. That ball's gonna eventually roll. Get batted out of bounds. It's a different little lineup for the Cavs. Binion and Logan's been playing the same. Usually they one's in the bench, yeah. one's in. And we started without with Height having three fouls. Yeah. But even when Height was playing, they were in together. Foul on Davis Peterson. Foul Get the reach in there. His third. It is. I think he I don't know. I thought the, the ball went off his foot. I think that's what Peterson was. Is saying, but I think the, the yeah the reach in the reach in yeah. yeah, I don't think it was the, the contact. I think it was the and, then, and we might have to take a timeout here. Oh, get it, Gloss for three, wide open, no good rebounded by Ooh, jump ball. That was early, that's, wasn't it? Yeah, that's a good call though. I, yeah. I like that. Okay. I see you see both guys going, especially with a couple injuries tonight. We've had guys hitting the floor and yeah, oh, man, they, they have too. It's been a physical game, quick face. Pace, physical game. Really, both teams want to play that way, though, too. Just yeah. Like Rotier with it. Bose drives baseline. Dyke in between the legs, looks to attack here, gets it back out to Bose. Bose tries the baseline again, not there. Ah, uh, got it on the arm. That's going to be his fourth. You got to be Jackson. Got to be aware of the situation there. He was. Coming from behind. Yeah, nine times out of ten, that's going to yeah. be called. Official standing team. behind. He can't. You know, if your hand is on the ball, both, both of you have your back to the official. He can't see your hands yeah. on the ball. He just sees you giving him a big hug. There's been some pretty good sportsmanship uh, in tonight's game, but I don't think they'll go that far. <laughs> now it's a five-point game in the third. Terpstra. Pulls up. Short, tipped around. Man. Can't finish. Eventually rebounded by Jack Rogers. Gets it to Height. Height tries, pulls it back out, gets it to Jonas McEwen. McEwen, Gwas, uh, Gwas for three. He's been hot from that spot. No good. Ball's eventually yeah. going to fall and go out of bounds after a great hustle play there by Jack Rogers. Cavaliers looking to press here. I actually think we've been we've been been doing a little bit better in the uh, in the half court defense rather than. I think I think with their team speed, didn't they? Yeah, they're switch that up a little bit. Transition is so good. Their second chance opportunities is it's been huge for them here. <laughs> that looks close from this angle. Yeah, I thought it was a travel. I thought Jonas is down here was too when yeah. he got the ball to. Who's that going to be on? That's Four. going to be on Rotier, his third. Right. It's going to be Boltma coming in. Boltma, he's a senior. 6'3", 175-pound senior. Must have pulled those off Max Preps. Oh, I... They didn't send those to me. I, uh, I figured out that I have a lot less, or a lot more to talk Ooh, about. Now I got him foul. <laughs> Who we got on that one? 
He Coach McCammick's Terp- not happy. Terpstra? It is. Terpstra Terp- is the leading scorer for the Knights. 14.1 por- points a game. Jack's, Jack's obviously having a nice season. So, so racking it up. What's he at now? What's he still... Rodgers came into tonight's game with 262 points. Shoots 51% from the free throw line. First one was good. Second one missed. Staying true to the average there. That shot by Jacob Dyke falls. Dyke takes it all the way. Cavs lead by four here. 220 remaining in the third. Time out. Quick time out there. I'm not sure he had possession long. <laughs> as good of a season as, as Jack's having with 500, and, or sorry, with uh, 262 points. He's still 300 points shy of the record for most points in a season. 1968, Mike Bauer, or not 1968, I'm sorry, 70 something, Mike Bauer. Uh, 567 points in a season. 71 72. Mike Bauer's son went on to play some D1 basketball. And uh, I believe it was Bo Bauer. He was uh, from Lewis Cass. Mike was a longtime PE teacher down at Lewis Cass, so knew the Bauer family very well, still do. So good family. Good basketball pedigree right there. Hailing from the streets of Monterey, right? The suburbs of Monterey. They live on the uh, southwest side of Monterey. Is Mrs. Jackson the gym teacher at Lewis Cass now? She is. I think she's elementary, though. Okay. Wow. Got that one. Terpstra. The floater. Pulls it within two here. Two, two minutes remaining. Just threw it away there. Terp, uh, Jacob Dyke there playing great defense. Ah, good look. Man. Good pass there. Logan's done a nice job for us tonight. We'll get that one back. Six seniors on the roster for DeMont Christian. Bose with it. Kicks out to Dyke. Dyke looks to drive. Pulls up. Ten-footer. No good. Bats around, rebounded by Davis Peterson. Peterson sends up a floater, no good. Batted around again, finally grabbed. Mm. Say white ball. Oh, I thought that was a yeah, foul. Yeah, I did too. I thought that was a solid uh, push in the back there. I don't know, though. It looked like he was, I don't know. There was definitely contact. I just don't know if it was. A little face guarding on uh, Jack. Down inside, back, back to Gwas. Gwas for three, looks good, isn't. Rebounded by Dyke. Dyke pushes the ball across the timeline, looks for a teammate. Takes a couple steps there, gets it to both. Side step, puts a three up, no good. Rebounded look by up, Caleb up. McEwen. Back to Gwas. Gwas has nobody there. So turns around, tries to attack, kicks it to Height. Height back to Claudel. Claudel, they play back and forth with it. Eventually into the lane is uh, Height. To McEwen. Yep. You get number 21, Terpso, on the foul. That's his third, I believe. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> it is crazy to see just the difference in the pace of play. Yeah, you know, it's just. We're hosting uh, girls sectional. So. Two games tomorrow night, championship on Friday, sectional 50. Cune line to shoot two. First one's good. So that is a bonus because yeah. the foul was on the floor. So yeah, that was the fifth. 36-33 is your score. 45 and a half seconds approximately to go here in the third quarter. Second one's good as well. Cavaliers look to be a little bit more aggressive here. But as they have been all night, ah. the Knights are pretty good in transition. Uh, Drea was a great spot for that. That yeah, was bold. Kind of overshot it, didn't he? It, I thought so. Height with it. 
Drives into the lane, pulls it out, looks for somebody. Gives it to Guas. Ball screen coming. Claudel thinks about taking the shot, gets it to Guas. Guas, three. Good. Gas pull by five. Five seconds remaining here in the quarter. This is where we, we don't want to No good. Good end of the kill order there for the Cavaliers. So we're going to take a break. We'll be right back. You're watching Culver TV. Mm -hmm. Welcome back here. Justin Croy, Mike Zaner, Tyler Sedell, bringing you the fourth quarter of this one. Cavaliers have a five-point lead going into the fourth, 40-35. to 35. It's been a fast-paced physical game all game long. I'm interested to see how fouls will start playing into things here. I know that uh, both teams have some guys with uh, three fouls, so that'll be interesting to see here. I think, I think Binion picked up his fourth, didn't he? Yeah, yeah. So Binion picked Binion's up his fourth. Quarter here. He has four. David, I believe, has three. Yep. I know Terpstra has three for them. Davis Peterson has three. Is it all seniors on the floor for... Nope. Uh, boss is a sophomore. Boss is a sophomore. Is that a screen? Good. Creates space. Nothing there. Gets it into Jonas. Jonas drives. Back to him. Clears out. Looks to go in. Lots of contact, there. but it'll eventually fall. Bose with it. Turnaround jumper from the elbow. Rebounded Second by opportunity again. Baltma. Baltma gets a little contact and a foul. We get Caleb on that one. Coach Evans not, not happy with the, uh, obviously, the I thought, offensive rebounds there. I thought the... We've got two different officials under the basket on both sides of the floor, and I think it, it's ending up being some guys are letting them play, some guys aren't. And just depends on the rotation. Right, just depends on the rotation. And I feel like they've been consistently calling that yeah. their style. It just depends on who you get under the basket. I thought Jack got fouled down there, no call. Ah, another second chance opportunity. See, there, there the probably yeah, should have been one there. And same guy that was under the basket down here this time. That's Terpstra's fourth. Yeah. See if they'll get him. They're going to put uh, Tayen Baker in. Tannen, sorry. Tannen Tanyan Baker? I've been saying Tannen. Could be Tanyan. T-A-N-Y-O-N. No relation. Nope. Spell Carmel Baker. B A K K E R. Yeah, we only got one K. What'd they call? Uh, travel. Oh, object. okay. I agree with that. I didn't see. I was looking at names. Coach here. Evans trying to get the push. I just, I think he went away from it. I think if, if Jack would have went into the play a little bit more, he probably would have got that. Dyke back to Bose. Boss. I think it's Boss. I've said it wrong. Baltzma loses it. Rogers with it. Looks to attack. Eventually falls in the hands of Binion, who grabs it. McEwen drives in. Kicks out. Boss for three. three. Good. That's his third since I've been here, so... Coach Evans calls a full timeout here. Cavs take a 10-point lead. So, 6.30 to go here in the fourth quarter. Cavaliers lead by 10. We'll be right back. We're back here. Justin Croy, Mike Zaner. Tyler Siddell on camera. He's talking uh, about crew officiating crews and how football is a little bit different than basketball. They kind of come in one at a time. You might be working with different guys different nights. And... and uh, a good crew for the uh, sectional champ or the sectional 50 here. So coming up tomorrow, semifinals. As long as you have a Purdue score on hand, they're happy. <laughs> Finals on Saturday. 
So tomorrow should be some good action. We've got Argus versus Triton. That'll be the second game. First game is going to be OD versus Marquette. Be available for you on the region radio network. Ooh, it's Baker. Three. Rogers oh, with oh. it. It's going to get doubled. Got some guys open then. Ooh. Inside is Binion. Binion gets it to Rogers. Rogers yeah. gets foul. 24. Boss is going to be the one to foul. I think it's going to be on Davis Peterson. That might okay. be his fifth. I don't know. Let's we'll see. Yeah, I thought that boss is the one. Oh, they're going to get it on Boss. They're thinking on 24. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, that's Boss. Yeah, that's Tony Boss. Sorry. I was thinking Terps. Good looking sophomore for him. Got some length. First one's good. Height checking in. Caleb McCune going to have a seat. Damian coming out. Didn't see Logan. Logan checks in for Ethan. Ah, yep. No oh, foul there. I thought that was good. <laughs> Just know, know your positioning, right? Ah, we can't cheat that. Can't cheat that. Ooh, lots of contact wow. there. We, huh? got, we got Lowell saying this way. We got Aver saying the other way. I think they're saying it was tipped, and yeah. Carl didn't see it. No, it's not Carl, is it? Yeah, Carl Abram. Okay. We got another Abram that's... Uh, an official, he does a lot of my volleyball. It's not Carl, though. Carl does volleyball, too, though, I think, right? I think so. 46-37. It's like three on one there. Wide open yeah, underneath oh, the basket man. is. Wide still open is. is. Still is. Can't think of his name. They can't see him. <laughs> Logan. Logan. Gee, many Christmas. Claudel. Got to get that one. And that 12. is going to be, is that his fifth? No, that's Jacob Dyke. I think it's Dyke. fourth, yeah. That is fourth. Terpstra has four, I believe. Remember, he's not in the game. No, it's third. Hmm. I would have guessed more. Third. Holy cow. What is going on? Wow. Yeah, it was early. Go stay with the Cavs. Probably should have been should have been foul called on the dead ball and one called yeah, there. Exactly. I agree with you on that. At least they're not calling them at all. I mean, yeah, they're, they're, they're consistently consistent. not calling things. It's okay. Let's play. Let's play hard. There you go. Nice dish there to Jack. Dyke looks to push the ball up the court. Got some numbers. Glad. Wide opens Baker. Bose. Oh, yeah. Uh, yep. Yep. Get the... oh, oh, yeah. Oh, I thought he was stepping over him. They're going to call a technical. Jack went to step over and made contact with his head. That's going to be Jack's fifth and no fourth. Yeah. That's yeah, a replay. I don't. I think. I think the kid kind of rolled into Jack, and Jack just went to step over him. They ducked. That it. Okay, so that's going to be his third. Watch it again there. I don't. Oh, let's go back right there. Maybe this is him getting control of the game here. Yeah. Uh -huh. Could be. I mean, I, I can see it because he did get kicked. The kid did get I, kicked in the head. He he set up into it. I don't think it was a I'm kicking you in the head type of thing. So Baker's going to shoot the free throws. Baker is a huh, coming into tonight's game 100% free throw shooter. Wow. And still is. With one with one shot. Oh. <laughs> now he's got three and is still at 100%. Now he's three for three. Baker, a 5'10 okay, sophomore. Terps to check him back in. Be 
DeMont's ball. Nobody's looking to check it, take it out, though. Those are Jack's first two fouls, though. I guess I didn't know that. Here we go. 5.07 left to go. Cavaliers have a lead, 48-33. Baker's going to come in the game for Terpstra. Looks like they're doing a little offensive-defensive subbing here with his, with his, his foul four situation. fouls. Yep. Height brings the ball across the line. That's, yep. yep. It's going to be his third, right? Dyke getting picked up his second. No, I think it's his fourth. Dyke's okay, fourth. Yep. Of the ninth day of Dyke, that's his fourth foul. Team four. Already four, so yeah, the next foul gets them in the what's, what's funny is we're kind of talking about how they're not calling a lot, yet there's been a <laughs> lot of fouls called. It's been a very physical yeah. game. Yeah. Ooh, off balance three. Ooh. three. That's not the shot. Yeah. Hey. Oh. Still. Yeah. Got timeout. Good time. Yeah. <laughs> I think Lowell, uh, Lowell was fed up with that. Well, Lowell said, Lowell said, you have to have the ball to have a timeout. You do, you're laying on you, kid, the ball was on the kid's hip as he's trying to roll yeah. roll around to grab it, and Jack's trying not to foul him. And <laughs> Interesting uh, yeah. series of events. So, going back with the uh, changeup, Herps is back in. JV score uh, didn't end up great for the Cavaliers. They played a great first quarter. Eli Woodward hitting a few threes. Nice. Let's see the young guys get some action there. It's kind of been a up and down season there. And kind of played a half there for a little bit, but now playing full games and. Did uh, Kale Jonas take a quarter at all, or was it just I five? Took a, nope, they yeah. took a quarter. Yeah. One one quarter each, and then I believe the, that five finished the game out. Gotcha. I know at they least in the do, they, they did that the other night at LaVille. So. Fourth quarter, there was nobody on the bench. <laughs> so if somebody fouled out, there was no going. <laughs> yep. The old, play some the old line with from Hoosiers, my team's on the court. Yeah. That's changed with COVID, I believe. So Because before, if you were in the book, I believe you had to have it. They had to play it. Oh, wow. I think it's going to be white ball. Yep. Nope. Again, getting the subs in. Baker. Baltima. And Baker. Is it Baltima? I've been I saying Baltima all night long. I actually got on their YouTube bad. channel and, and watched a little bit. to see if I could watch their lineups. That's where I got that, uh, oh, Rotier's name, R O T T I E R, was Rotier, Rotier not Rotier. Right Oop, throw it in. Dunk it. <laughs> Good job there. Cavaliers extend the lead a little bit here. A little Ooh. easy, no foul. Yeah. Rotier, speaking of him, in and out. Rebounded by Logan Claudel. There's usually always one guy on the team out of the ten on the floor that I, I can never think of their name. <laughs> Logan and Maddie Hamilton are apparently the two people this year that get that. I'm glad that uh, you know an offensive lineman that plays for you. Yeah. <laughs> it Logan, has nothing. Logan, to, Logan also starts left tackle for yep. the, the Cavs football team. It has nothing to do with the kids. It has to do with <laughs> me and and. Apparently, I can only process eight names at a time. Three off the mark. Good year. That's that's Baltimore again. Good job there to rebound that one. That's a good chin. Three on two here. Going to pull up for three. Baker. Baker. Sophomore. Only a 23% free throw shooter. What would you say? <laughs> He's only a 23% free throw. Sorry, not three free throw. He's 100%. Three point, yeah. Only a 23% three-point shooter. Oh, wow. Yeah, we got to call that boy. He's think. trying. What's David? David's, uh, David's got a good free-throw percentage. 57%. Only been to the line 14 times this season. Wow. 
David's quick. He's uh, he's got some sneaky speed, and he usually gets a steal or two a game and just a quick lay it. Ugh, first one's no good. In and out. Yeah, 54 steals on the year, lead, leading the team in steals. Logan Cardell, though. Lead eight point eight by eight here, 312 no, left. I'm game. sorry, not Logan. Jack leading in rebounds. Cavs will be in the bonus all the way. Missed both of them. So this is where the strategy of the game has changed. Of I'm going to intentionally foul ah. you. <laughs> That's his fourth. Right? So the next foul, put the cat. Coach is trying to get Binion in there yeah. late. Oh. Oh, oh wow. That's going to send them to the line. I think he was really off balance. I didn't think he made contact. <laughs> Nobody reported it yet. I don't think the foul's been reported. Yeah, he's, he's pointing to two, shooting two. I think he was waiting for Lowell to report it, and Lowell thought he could since they both called it. There it goes. Now Lowell's like, did you get the foul? It's on 21, or 12, sorry. Trevor and Heidi have it down, though. They know it's already on the board. Yeah. Excellent job, our bookkeeper, Heidi Timmy, and our scoreboard operator, who was 0 for 5, I believe, at half court at halftime, but... He does a Trevor heck of a job Welton. with the scoreboard, yeah, he's though. He's a nice job. He's quick. He's 99% accurate, 99% at the time. Also our head groundskeeper. We won't talk about that. Right? Do a little bit of everything here, Culver. <laughs> Ask the baseball coaches how that's going. <laughs> They're talking about their spring work day. Go, 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 go. Put it in. There we go. Oh, come on. Play the game. Thought that was a travel. I think one of their coaches said that same thing. Three ball. One time. One time. There it is. Job. Davis oh, Peterson, split. the floater yep. over the back there, easy. Front of in, let's go. Getting a little chippy here late. Again, <laughs> 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 like. If, if you know Caleb McEwen, you, you don't oh, get that from him a lot. You like, got to really do something exactly. to met Yeah. <laughs> now, there's three or four guys. I would, I oh, would yeah. Go, okay, this is probably going to happen, but Caleb uh, doesn't get too excited most of the time. You accidentally bump into Coach Evans. Look out. <laughs> you don't know what's going to happen. I do that on purpose. So. Get the team on. So we got six. All right, here he is. go. Second one's good. Cavaliers have a 10-point lead. Oh, thank you. Inside Terpstra. Uh, that's that, it was a little late getting there. A little late getting there. Body was... He we must have got hit down here. He is struggling. Third on Logan. Demont, both teams in the bonus. All right, we're, we're it's over 851. Halfway, over halfway through the season, what? Uh, how, how, how's your feeling on this new rule with the five fouls every quarter? I, Does it change that much for you? It doesn't change the game much, I don't think. I, I think they'll keep it because it doesn't change the game much. I don't like it from a strategic standpoint. I like being able to foul a guy, send him to the line, he misses it, you go down, score, yeah, close I, a four-point lead to That's That's my two. thing when it originally came out I looked at it. I go, man, it's going to put less emphasis on making that first free throw. You yeah. Know? I, it kind of oh. 
Jack White. Part of me him. says takes the Man. talent no out push of there. Jack pushes it to a 12-point lead for the Cavaliers. Under two to play. Now, you would know the answer to this. That's a great shot there by that Lucas Terpsta. That was a heck of a defensive play by Logan. I mean, he couldn't have defended it any better. Well, who comes Who comes up with this, with the rule? I know the rules come from NFHS. Yeah, they, and they have committees. They have a state-level committee. And, and some of the states, I think every state is represented that, that is in the NFHS. Um, so it, it's it's they come up with committees. I know, like uh, for for the state of Indiana, like Robert Falcons is on the football rules committee. I'm, I'm not sure who's on. You know, if we have a representative, I, my guess would be Brian Lewis. You know, from the IHSA is probably on that. Uh, you know, national board, but uh, but it yeah. it comes from. It's not like a uh, independent group. It's, yeah, it's not like me and you sitting around. You know, making up these rules. Now you, you can present rules to them that you think right, but yeah. It's got a, it's a process everything goes through. The uh, Mrs. Schumann's uh, birthday. Is on the happy birthday at halftime. Yeah, we were going to say her age, but I wanted to keep my job. Yeah. So 42, is that right? I, I thought it was 33. But. What was that? What, what did you say? What, what did you, you no know comment from Tyler either? Jeez. He's got a big project coming up. He doesn't <laughs> can't afford three to five days off. <laughs> All this extra work is ooh, got Logan deep here. As Nash runs down to guard him. Turn, turn, good. Go. Push, 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 push. There you go. Yep. Let's go, Jonas. So, I don't know if you just saw that Davis Peterson. That's fifth, fifth that's foul. Fifth. He untucked his shirt before he left the court. I've seen that more than once. Actually called a technical when a kid really? did that. Yep. I think it had so those had my, to do okay, more with. My question here. Okay. When the guy's got a fifth foul, he has to come out. Yep. Do you just then they unload the entire bench here? Okay. That's what I'm confused on, too. It's, I mean, it's a dead ball, so they could sub. His, right. They have to but sub one, the, but they usually can. you wait until after the first free throw. You have to get the guy that fouled off, yeah. off the court. Yeah, and then I think just out of common courtesy, you go ahead and just let everybody in. Yeah, because it's a dead ball situation. Because if it was a one and one, then that would have been the time to sub. Yeah. But since it's now two shots, second one's good. Caleb jump. Yeah. Checks in for Jonas. Not seeing double. They are twins. I was watching a game. Don't know. Don't remember what game it was. College basketball, where there was two guys on the team with the same last name, like Davis and Davis, or something like that. And so they just started calling one by their first name. So it was. I mean, how, how often do we do that, though? Like, yeah, and Jonas. So. Right, that's that's how I knew it was okay. I wasn't in travel. Close. Yep. David will go to the line. I believe he's untucking too, so Jacob Dyke's gonna have a seat. Tyler, what uh I think is that Mr. Barron leading that? No. Nope. <laughs> Look at Dyke a smile, I like it. That's well, you, you, you gotta live for that atmosphere, right? Like you want a good student section of veracity. That's that's part of Indiana basketball. Man. Right. I, Again, people get uptight. Again, now, leave the inappropriate stuff out, but stuff like that's right. fine. That's, that's there's no uh, first one's good. Right? <laughs> there's no principal. Nobody likes their principal stand to get the <laughs> base of the student section. Just keeping it clean. They're not going to get as rowdy. And, and, and if you know Brett, like he, he he's he's all about he's all about that stuff. He likes that stuff. Oh yeah, yeah. Keep it clean. My favorite has been Both the of them uh, good for height. The secondary student section up top tonight. Has been up there since the beginning of the game. Oh, oh man. Hit his knee on the court pretty hard. I, I thought or it was his hand. wrist. Finger. May have jammed it there. A heck of a block by Binion, though. He came out of nowhere, man. Let's see if we can capture that. It might be too. It's a volleyball spike. Eight minutes might have took that on the chin there. Yeah, we missed Hard it. Hard to go back, yeah. 
I thought he was going to get you a bigger screen, Tyler. Good pass in. Deep three. Good. Terpstra. Terpstra. 93 pointers? I would have said. <laughs> Tyler, what time did I say it was earlier? 8.51. 8.51, okay. So the two minutes, there was two minutes exactly on the clock. It's taken seven, which we, I knew it would. I just wasn't sure if it was going to take 12 or... Calf is back in action next week. I believe we've got a decent game lined up, right? Yeah. Friday night is uh, Pioneer comes to town. There may be more games before that. Yeah, I think there might be one on Thursday. We play back-to-back -back games? The Bell game on Thursday? Although, yeah, it's, actually, <laughs> it's not <laughs> home, so I'm thinking I, yeah. I'm looking at the... And then Saturday we actually picked one up. So they Saturday? play Thursday, Friday, Saturday next yeah. week. Granger Christian coming to town on Saturday. Picked it up with us missing the second game. Missing the second game of the Bike County that allowed us another game there. So don't talk to Coach Evans that weekend. If yeah, they're playing the one, Thursday. he's the one that organized it all. So it's all coming from Evans. <coughs> See that bike that Bike County situation is weird because if they don't have that consolation game, every team could have one more. Exactly. Game. Yeah. So just go f do the do your thing and. Well, and that was all you know weather related. So yeah. But just in general, if they changed it to that, that I mean, if you're looking if you're looking at the schools, and I don't know what was in there, what's been the Adam Peterson checking in. I know there's been Adria some Goss. schools that have Caleb McCune and Logan Caudill having a seat. Sorry, so, so, no, you're good. Some schools that have bounced in and out of the Bi County over the years. Yeah, and now it's like you have Laville, John Glenn, New Prairie, which kind of it's been the same for 15, 20 years. Yeah. David having a seat. <coughs> Cavs lead 10, 30 seconds to go. Three on the way, just out. The mark. Oh. Give up Oop. an offer to Baker for there. three. No good. Battled around. Have a timeout here by DeMont. It's an interesting timeout with uh, yeah. 13 seconds left. But what messages? And like you could you could easily take five seconds off, get it all in. Yeah. I don't know. That's that's always tough. As a coach, I always struggle with that. When do you when do you put the subs in? When you're up or down? And, yeah. You know, it's uh, so pace. It's, it's only seasons. an eight point lead, right? Yeah. So a three. Cuts it to five. How you... I many timeouts they got left? That's going to be their last timeout. So even on a make from them, get the ball, you don't even have to take it out. <coughs> you just hold it for five. DJ Jazzy Lowry on the music tonight. Is it is it a is it a Mohawk mullet? <laughs> I have no clue. <laughs> I think uh, it's like a perm too. Like it's like yeah. a perm. Well, that's mullet. His, that's yeah. his natural hair that I didn't think he had. Oh. I thought he had wa uh, flat wavy hair. This, and then he let it grow during COVID, and he's had that ever since. Unless he is perming it, which I don't think he is. But just hold it. Oh, yeah. smart move by. Adam there, there to know go. the situation. The student section wanted him to shoot it. Good game for the Cavs to rebound. That's a tough stretch there, man. You get by County, get LaVille back to back, really. Uh, LaVille's a good football or basketball team there, too. So, um, Love how the Cavs came out and played, especially after that OD game. I know Coach, that left a bad taste in Coach's mouth. And yeah. The players as well. You know, and they'd love to have that one back. And maybe on down the road, sectionals, they'd have that back. And this is a team, soon. this this uh, DeMont team had, had beat OD. Yeah. So yeah. that that was a, a difficult one there. Yeah. Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching Culver TV. Justin Croy, Mike Zaner, Tyler Siddell. We'll see you next week.